That's right, a first in franchise history. The covers of the Washington Post and the New York Post marking the historic occasion. At last, Nats are champs and national champions. Fans spilled into the streets. Some stayed up all night to grab new World Series gear. And WJZ is live tonight. Paul Gessler talked to Nats fans today, shelling out some big bucks for World Series apparel. Paul. Not a lot of sleep last night, not a lot of sleep during the entire postseason. Nationals fans in Orioles country lined up early. Some are even trying to convince the Orioles fans in their lives to jump aboard the bandwagon. At Modell Sporting Goods in Arundel Mills. Now that they've won, everybody wants a little piece of history. When history in D.C. sports was made. Can I fit this? Fans rushed to get their piece of it. I would say best, weirdest World Series ever. What a story. I mean, these guys were, you know, 19 and 31 in May and... And now the World Series, it's crazy. It's so crazy. Yeah. Some fans needed to layer up in World Series gear. I've got, I got the hat, I got the sweatshirt, and I got the shirt. There has been a steady flow of fans all day long, especially when Models opened this morning at 6 o'clock. The most popular item, locker room apparel. She had to match up with the players and get ready for the parade on Saturday. I'm going to get my wife a shirt, even though she's an Orioles fan. Fans check out with Nats gear in Orioles country. You should be an Orioles fan. They were close at the time, but, you know, D.C. got a team, so Orioles, they have to learn how to spend some money. Spending money, like Washington fans are doing Thursday across the area. Even if you're a casual baseball fan, I don't know how you couldn't get excited about the games. For some Nationals fans, they give Orioles fans permission to be happy, but say there's no room left on the bandwagon. Oh, yeah, they can be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My kids are obviously going to be Nationals fans now. Back live now. The Orioles, meanwhile, have 103 days until pitchers and catchers report for spring training on February 11th. The only date right now that matters for the Nationals, as they don't have a report date yet, is Saturday. That is when the World Champion Parade will start in Washington, D.C. on Constitution Avenue. For now, we're reporting live in downtown Baltimore. Paul Gessler for WJZ.